I will tell you one thing that annoys me with a sports analyst in, in this field is when they refuse to make a prediction. And they usually don't want to do it because they don't want to hurt someone's feelings. Or, you know, MMA is actually a really small world. So maybe they got a friend fighting or they got a former teammate and they just can't go against him. And I get it, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. I don't like it. It annoys me. If you're going to come out and do the job, do the job. But there's a time every now and then when I can't make a prediction. I just don't come at it from that same perspective of being scared to make a prediction. There's some fights. I don't know. You know, I don't know. And I always tell you guys, you know, who I'm going to bet on. That's figuratively speaking. I, I don't actually go to the, to the window and ever bet. But I don't know in that chain of thought, figuratively speaking, I don't know who to bet on in Tyron Woodley and Till. I respect Tyron as the best fighter in the world. I think he's proved it. I think he's a consummate professional to a higher level than a lot of you give him credit for, but he is very professional. He does everything right. He lives the lifestyle. And he's also got a, a great ability, a great fight IQ. You know, he's kind of like Dominic Cruz. He, he can take on the weirdest puzzle. And eventually, if you give him enough time and enough rounds, he solves it. Uh, I think Lawler was an example of that. And most of you would think of Lawler as just a straightforward brawler. That's true, but it's a unique power with a unique grit that you don't see every day in training. Solve the Lawler puzzle. When you get into somebody who, who might be an even better example that you could relate to, but Wonder Boy Thompson, man, that guy is so awkward, so skilled in the most unique of areas, so you can't even find a training partner to mimic him. you got to figure it out on the fly. And we saw Tyron do those things. So I have a lot of respect for him, but I think he's in one of those fights again. I think Darren Till is a unique skill set. I know Darren Till can beat him. I know we can beat him based on logic, okay? Not based on functionality, but based on logic of MMA math, which was what incredible fights Tyron had with Wonderboy, and the fact that Till beat Wonderboy. MMA math says he, he's right there. He can go with him. He can beat him. You also then got to give Till some of the intangibles, which is that awkwardness that I just talked about, that, that Tyron is very good at solving, but he's going to have to deal with it. Till, Till's got this weird, you know, Wonderboy, Conor McGregor, Formed into Lyota Machida, formed into his own style. But he's weird and he's unique and he's effective and he's big. And it's just some things for Tyron to deal with. But Tyron deals with that stuff, doesn't he? Tyron doesn't win every round. Tyron doesn't win the first round of fights. Sometimes he doesn't win the second round. But then he figures things out. He's a really smart fighter. So I'm compelled to this match. I like it. I also like the what ifs. The what ifs if Usman steps in there, and I realize that Woodley said there's no way he'll fight Usman. And as much as as much as he looks like the skunk at the garden party, Tyron Woodley's never ruined a show, and he's never backed down from somebody, even if it is on 24 hours notice. So I'll take him at his word that he's not going to fight Usman, but I got to take it with a little bit of a grain of salt. And I like the storyline. I really like what the sport is doing by putting one of these guys in the bullpen putting them in reserve so us fans have something to talk about but also something to fo uh, look forward to. And the only way the integrity of that gets preserved is as long as guys do allow for that, uh, that bullpen player to step in, you know, in a pinch hit situation. So let's see where all that goes. That's not my decision to make, but I think that it's fun. I'm having some fun this week. I'm looking forward to this. I don't think we're going to see the drama at the scales like a lot of you are looking forward to. I don't think we're going to see that drama. I do predict uh, I would make a bet. That, uh, that Till makes weight. I think everything goes off as planned. I think we got a really interesting fight to look forward to.